What is going on? Today we are going to be talking a little bit about something new that I just received. I'm pretty excited about this product. I thought it was really cool as soon as I saw it. I ordered it from Amazon first. Amazon was going to take like four weeks to get here. I ordered it from Longer McQuaid and it just got here yesterday. So I was going to open them with you guys so you can see it as well. But we are talking about the Ernie Ball flat ribbon patch cable. This is the pedal board pack so it comes with a bunch of different sizes. There's the one at the top as like a little teaser. It looks awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm really keen to try these out. I've been trying to put together like a little board of just basic essentials to keep at home. Um, and that's why I bought these. But if I like them, I might use them for more things. So let's start the unboxing process. All right, so what are we working with here? Um, those can you see that they're just they're literally what they say they are flat ribbon patch cables let's cut this out throw that away all right what do we got this is Hopefully you can see that. What we're looking at, it is super flat, super skinny, just a patch cable. Got the little Ernie Ball logo on the on the head. It's actually a really small profile, which is really nice. Um, even on the connection ends, which is sweet. It feels super sturdy, like I'm not gonna be able to break that apart. Uh, let's compare it to the lava cables, which is what I have been using. These are prefabricated and they come at set lengths. These are the kind of make it to your own length specifications. It's definitely, like you can see, um, like the connector definitely isn't smaller than the lava cable. Um, the cable is flatter, but I would say it's probably, you can see that, it's probably the same thickness as the lava cable. Um, so you're probably not going to be saving a great deal of space with these if you are already using lava cables. I do like, like I feel like that is a pretty good use of space. Um, but at the same time, I also feel like the lava cable is similar. Uh, I would say that this is a bit more malleable than what the lava cable is. It definitely has a bit less resistance. The lava cable is just a solid core cable so you can bend it into all different kind of shapes um but yeah all right overall i'm really impressed by this product i have been using lava cables for a long time obviously they come with the convenience of being solderless you can make them whatever size you want but that also comes at a cost to make five cables you're pretty much paying 110 canadian dollars i bought the 10 pack of these for $85. This is just the pedal board pack, so it comes with two 24 inch cables, two 12 inch cables, four 6 inch cables, and two 3 inch cables. I would probably still stick with the lava cable based on the fact that I use a bypass looper, uh, so it's handy for me to be able to kind of custom make cables. And even though these are really small, I do think that the lava cable's connector size is still its advantage, but I am going to use these to build my little board that I'll be using at home. So I'm excited to use these. Something I will give the Ernie Ball cables is that the pancake head on it is actually thinner than the lava cable solderless head. Uh, so you can get the pedals a bit closer together. I'll show you guys a photo of kind of what my initial concept for my little board is going to be. I might change the overdrive. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it doesn't matter. But you can see really how close that pedal gets. So I actually think they're going to be a really great way to save space, depending on what your board setup is going to be. Um, but definitely the lava cable is a bit shorter lengthwise, but the width of the lava cable head is definitely longer than what the Ernie Ball is. I just wanted to make this short video so you guys can kind of see. Uh, I know there's not a lot of content on this product yet. I will fill you guys in with more thoughts when I start to actually use them with my playing. But I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown me. If you do like my videos, please like them and subscribe. It helps me make sure that you guys can keep seeing content. Let me know in the comments what content you want to keep seeing me make. And if you want to be alerted when I make new videos, then click that bell icon below as well. And I will see you guys soon.